Greetings once again, you doomed heroes, and welcome to another episode of the Doom Patrol, where previously, our heroes were sent through time by Immortus. After one, trying to stop the zombie werebutt uprising, yes that's a thing, and trying to get the growth on the back of Isabel Feather, the being known as Immortus, that at the very least could be used in order to save Rita, who was the first of them to really start fading fast towards their inevitable death. But Isabel, especially mad at Rouge, who was particular about saving Rita, decided to get some payback against Rue, sending the other members of the Doom Patrol hurtling through time. But they had the upgraded cyborg on their side, who was able to safely create a pod for them, and with the help of Keeg, analyze the time stream they were trapped in and find traces of immortality through three portals all of them could go through. The one that went through time the farthest was the one that Cliff went through. When Niles Calder first received his little amulet that was essentially the same growth that Isabel had, when he stole it from Von Fuchs, Cliff ended up right at that time meeting Niles and Willoughby. Naturally, Niles didn't want to give up the charm. And interestingly enough, in a fight with Von Fuchs's men, while actually trying to save Niles, Cliff became the one who broke Niles' back. And he had no choice but to leave the charm with Niles, as he would die from his injuries otherwise. And while you think that Cliff would actually be happy that he got his own form of payback, isn't it ironic that he's the very reason why Niles could no longer walk? for so many. Next was Rouge who met Niles back in his time in the ant farm. And while he was able while she was able to knock out Niles, she couldn't really run around during a time when she also was still there, only to be captured by her past self. And while having a very unadvised discussion with her previous self, it erupted into a fight, as Rouge was angry at what her past self would one day become, and what she used to be, finding that ultimately, nothing's really changed about her, much to her hatred and annoyance. The last portal saw Jane and Larry, you know, back in the 80s I believe it was, or was it the 90s? I think it was 80, where Larry was led by Keeg to his previous self, who was being controlled by the negative spirit, who let Larry know that Teague would be okay and that Larry wouldn't just die, he'd live on as a star, suggesting that, you know, he'd become a son for another galaxy maybe. Something that wasn't really a comfort to Larry. Well, the one who had the most progressive moment was Jane, who met the previous version of Niles, who helped Jane kind of come to terms with what was happening with her, and what it was that her other personas who had disappeared wanted her to finally come to terms with. What happened to not just Kay, but to all of them. What their father did was something that all the personas who were created that day experienced. They were all created out of that moment. It was just that traumatic. And that understanding created a kind of connection between all of them so that they could essentially live on as almost one being, the kaleidoscope. What this means, time can only tell. Meanwhile, back in the time stream, Victor was able to find a way back home, thanks to connecting to the future, as apparently, he and his friend Derek would restart up their old group, the Detroiticon, to help young minds become even greater in the future. And it was one of those young minds, Joy, who was able to lead Vic and the others back home. And while our heroes are still not sure if they can defeat Immortus, they'll do it for Rita. But can they accomplish this? Join me as I find out in this, the last episode of Doom Patrol. Won't you? Last time seeing this opening. In the time stream! Oh jeez. <laughs> Having a little too much fun there. And they're back. Wonder how long they were gone. Oh, oh yeah, the wear butts. Oh, really? Rouge. Wow. Oh, Sonic Scream. Oh, oh. Jane can use the abilities. Nice. Yeah, the kaleidoscope. Oh, snap. Nice. Negative spirit. Well, Keeg. Uh, also, super strong robot man. Who still has Parkinson's? Yeah. Yeah, but you still got Cyborg. Who's still a badass. Oh. What? <laughs> he really enjoyed having that sword that one time. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, really? Uh, trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> it's funny. She ran away, but at the same time, she's still trying to figure out why she can't move past this running away. She needed that pep talk. This is probably the kindest thing that Rita has ever said to her, ever since what happened in the past. Yeah, she needed that leader. Oh, this is going well. <laughs> you dum-dums. Oh, hey. We haven't seen Silver Tongue's ability in a long time. <laughs> oh, here come the butts. So... If this is the same way they died in the future, what happened to Immortus? Yeah, butts. Well, on the one hand, <laughs> Immortus has no choice but to help. Shit poopy, shit poopy, shit poopy. The girl who's hard to get. Poopy, shit poopy, shit poopy. You can't win her yet because it's the one thing that the butts resonated with. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. So much of a diva, she would stop the stopping of those zombie butts. Wait. Oh my god. So she could sing. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all singing along. They're singing the finale because it's the finale. <laughs> Just go with it. What? What's happening? What? What's she doing? Um. What? What's happening? Okay. Might have arrived a little too late. Huh. Okay? Oh, wait. What happened? Oh, don't add that to your achievements. You didn't do anything. Did Isabel seal herself in the butts in, like, a parallel dimension? Because she finally got, like, the attention she wanted? Huh. I mean, make the two problems take care of each other, huh? I mean, the butts are at their happiest when they're performing together, and Isabel wanted a captive audience. I mean, yeah, what a Doom Patrol way of winning, but not actually being the reason why they won. Or, at the same time, technically they were. The creation of Immortus was their fault, and the zombie were, but were their fault. They literally created two negatives that created a positive. Very Doom Patrol. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, what about saving Rita? I mean, you didn't get Rita's immortality back, which was the whole reason why you did this. Uh, really? <laughs> Larry point out. See, Larry gets it. It's just like, the butts are the ones who really actually saved the day. <sighs> it was a song about the Doom Patrol. It are, are we still ignoring that Rita's still dying? See, yeah, it's exactly what I said. It's just like, technically, Immortus defeated the butts at the same time. A <laughs> win is a win. Uh, okay. It is true. They are having their, the dinner that she always wanted them to have. It's breakfast, but I mean, Larry's best when he's making breakfast. Larry always shows up to breakfast. And maybe they'll figure something watch. out. Are right, she okay? Uh, okay. <sighs> I don't know, man. I, I, he didn't really figure out the Rita situation. Bionic tattoo. Oh, yeah. He has, like, emblems on him. Ah, reminders. Ah, tributes to his mom and dad, the Triticon. And them, Doom Patrol. Ah, oh, it is corny, but still. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, they're kind of together. They kind of get to experience everything each now. Kaleidoscope? I don't think they're going to call you Kaleidoscope. Oh, K? K chat. <laughs> really? Ultimately, it's kind of like the name K shows for his or she wanted to be a superhero because everything originated from so calling her k what what a what a weird full circle huh yeah uh, who's at the door oh god no no i thought we were done uh um platinum record thousand year run wait wait so the butts essentially became her room full of monkeys at typewriter what is that tony she's giving them back immortality because they're pieces of her wait so it can work with any piece of her i mean yeah i guess it makes sense the skin tag is part of her wait for cliff the hell is that what is that what is crystal what oh Okay. Oh, snap! Oh, she- Damn! What? Oh, shit. Don't tell me it was too late. Really? <sighs> no. You're shitting me. No. Go to hell? Uh, okay. Literally have to go to hell? Okay. <laughs> go for the liquor. Oh, her ghost. I guess. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh no, she wants to stay dead. <sighs> really? This can't be how it ends. Oh man, keep looking for love. This is really how it ends? Not every day someone gets to deliver their last will and testament beyond the grave. Hey, oof, oof. Ooh man, this is kinda hurt. It hit me a little bit harder than I thought it would. I didn't think she'd actually die. Considering they've died before, but then again, they have lived a long time. So maybe when it comes down to it, it just kind of messed up because everybody else got the chance to live. Just ready to move on. 
she's letting them go. It's like I was saying before, usually there's the oldest person is the one who kind of keeps everyone together. Before that was Niles, then that became Rita, and with this, they could kind of move on. Fucked up as it sounds, they could kind of live their own lives now. This makes sense for the final episode. <sighs> yeah, yeah, just what I said. It's time for the Doom Patrol to be done. <sighs> and recognizing that the Doom Patrol wasn't always positive. Uh, something that was very clear <laughs> with each season. Yeah, they made it through at the end, but things didn't always turn out for the best. <sighs> Yeah, most of the problems that Doom Patrol ever had to deal with were usually problems that Doom Patrol made, sadly enough. And those problems kind of became an excuse not to work on themselves. Uh, th just realizing Jane's shirt literally says, See you, Tater? See you, Tater? Really? It's not giving up. The best thing a leader can do is see that the best thing to do would be to break up. Burn her body. What? Oh, right. Of course Cyborg would support it, because he knows how important it is to come to terms with things. <sighs> this is really the end. <laughs> Really? <laughs> now she gets to criticize her own funeral. In the contact. Honey for being honey. <laughs> because of the because of the beekeeper so thing. <laughs> her, martini. her martini. <laughs> Assholes, of course you'd make such a <laughs> somber moment. Stupid and hilarious. Better than me bawling what my eyes out, I guess. What did you bring? A uh, mirror? Really? <laughs> a bottle of vodka? Is it gonna make the body burn all too well? <sighs> Even still. <laughs> really? Ave Maria? Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, oh, right, because of what her body was. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course. <sighs> hey, Rita's body was really, uh, oh. Kinda makes sense that it wouldn't really just burn away easily. <laughs> just <laughs> moves on. <sighs> but that's really it. S'mores? Really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you had a craving for s'mores? Oh, really? Watching one of her movies. This took this long to actually watch one of her movies. And he actually enjoyed it. They <laughs> After all this time, they finally watched one of her movies and they enjoyed it. By God. Like they say, you only appreciate it after they're dead. Watch it again. Really? Really? <laughs> they watched it until the morning. God damn. Where's Cliff? Uh, he's leaving, huh? Uh, he still has the Parkinson's, though. Is he just gonna have to live with that? Because I thought he was still gonna end up dying regardless because of the Parkinson's. Yeah. Cool as grandpa. Giant robot. Yeah. Yeah. Time to live for the entirety of them. Because the experiences. The experiences are now collectively all there. Huh. Yeah, it's time to finally kind of move on. Holy shit. <sighs> God damn. Yeah. <laughs> You're all <laughs> fractured, but we can be whole. Fractured, but whole. <sighs> Is he gonna be okay? Going by himself, though? This is really the end. <laughs> of course, he just gives the finger. <laughs> <laughs> so what about Larry? Just keeps living like this? Hey, the negative spirit said he was destined to become a star, but see who? Oh, 104? Did he really already do his whole turn to lead and sink thing? Hey, yeah, he didn't really have much time left. This is really it. Gee, <sighs> all right. God, you're really making sure I know this is it. But they actually got to go out on their own terms. The show, the team everything. They were actually able to bring it to a proper end. What? <sighs> Rouge? Really? Just gonna keep wallowing? And the future has changed now. No. Rouge. <sighs> Trying to tell you to work on yourself. This is what Rita wanted. <sighs> Keeps wallowing. Come on. A little bit of good. A little bit of bad. A little bit of both. <laughs> She's gonna be naughty. So we'll be both good and bad. Of course. <laughs> I'll let you know when you go too far. <sighs> bit of accountability, but at the same time, letting her make her own choices. Seriously, what about Larry? I He's still radioactive. You really just leave? What is that? Oh, it was from. Oh, so he kept it after all this time. Find Rama together. <laughs> you can always paint the walls. And he's gone. Wait, the alarm's still active? Uh, what is that alarm going off for? Who would even be able to sound that alarm? Oh, Casey. Oh. Huh. Where's Dorothy? <sighs> it's been the weirdest thing. It's just like Casey and Dorothy just went poof after the whole Immortus thing. Where have they been? <laughs> Going into space. Huh. Really? 
It's still awkward. Come on, come on, you friggin' weirdos. Oh, could go together. There you go. Aww. <laughs> really? Aww. <laughs> He's so unimpressed. Uh, fix up the car. Oh, yeah, the Parkinson's. Uh, so he's still dying? Really? Really? Afterlife? So Cliff is still dying? Really? <laughs> really? Oh. Oh, is it? <laughs> really? Oh. Really? Right, because he has the cage and everything with the canary. Malcolm. I didn't even think about that. No wonder she was ready to move on. Because the only person she ever really wanted to be with was gone. Oh, really? The block of lead. Oh, jeez. Oh. What's happening? So, we'll become the star together. So this is the end of Larry too. <sighs> is that a good thing? Detroit. Yeah, the Detroiticon. <laughs> My sidekick. <laughs> Yep, carving out the future. <laughs> I like that we brought back her painting. <laughs> they even got a cat. Oh, the cat Casey has in the comic. What was his name? Oh, hey, hey can't really run from that. Yep. Oh, what was the cat's name? Yeah, Lotion the Cat. N -n -n yeah, no lie. The cat's name is Lotion. Yeah, that's definitely who that is. Because Casey had that cat in the comics. And it's the end of the series. So I doubt it'll ever come into play, but Lo Shin was transformed into like a humanoid cat and essentially joined the Doom Patrol. And what about Rouge? What's she doing? The ant farm? Wait, why would she go back to the ant farm? What's she doing? Oh. Okay, that explains why she couldn't tell Cyborg about that. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's kinda on brand. And that also deals with the ant farm. Who's that? Oh, ah, uh, fixing up the car. Oh, the crystal. You can see the future? Ah, uh, oh jeez. Ah, uh, condoms, really? <laughs> oh my god. Adapt, oh, yeah, he did not use those condoms. Ah, he keeps the car for that long. Wait, what did he do? Piece of shit. What? Oh god, what? Cancer. She gets cancer? Oh jeez. She gets cancer? Uh, Jordy. Grandpa. Huh. Oh jeez. Oh, Cliff? Oh no. So Cliff, Larry, Rita, all gone. Oof. I mean, uh, it was kind of their end, inevitable. Cause that's why Cliff was still fighting, why he gave up their immortality to begin with, because ultimately it wasn't gonna do him any good. The disease was still gonna claim him, so just, and they regained their immortality still just to kinda meet their end. You know, it's funny. I kept watching Doom Patrol long after I kind of fell off of Titans to a certain degree. I, I keep planning to go back, but you know, I, when, when I found out Doom Patrol was going to be its own thing, I wasn't sure how to feel because in the Titan show, it's just kind of like, okay, they're fun, they're interesting, but could have been a little bit better. And then the actual Doom Patrol show came out and it was wild, weird, irreverent, all the cursing, all the just... <laughs> the Doom Patrol usually be the source of every problem they end up stopping. And I think I kind of bond with it because I could really identify with being the source of your own problem. Not knowing how to just truly move forward, being unable to come to terms with the mistakes you've made, and just being unable to move on. But at the same time, finding your happiness where you can. Just desperately trying to move forward. I mean, all the characters, they lived a lot longer than they probably should have. Rita, Larry, Cliff, they all should have technically died a good long time ago. But they were given a chance to find love and happiness. It took them a lot longer than it should have. Rita, Rita found Malcolm, Larry found Rama, and Cliff got to meet his grandson. Shoot, even that even goes for Cyborg, and even Rude, and even Jane. She was given just enough time to kind of get to a happier place. <sighs> I'm glad this got to go out the way it wanted to. It didn't keep spinning its wheels like, honestly, The Flash. It wasn't cut short like Batwoman, or more importantly, Legends of Tomorrow, if I'm being honest. Nah, it got to have an ending. How ironic. I, I really loved this series. All through its ups and downs, even when it wasn't quite vibing with me, I never hated it. I don't think I ever really hated this series, and I'm glad I got to see it through to the end. So, one last time for the Doom Patrol. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Whose story did you enjoy the ending of most? It's a hard one to pick, because they're all kind of bittersweet. If anything, I kind of wish that Rouge had been able to kind of move on to something better in the end, but who knows? <laughs> it's funny to have had a villain who was so through and through a villain in the comics, and in the end, while she did 
joined the Doom Patrol, she never quite became a hero hero. She still had that darkness in her and she understood that. And I say good on to the series for keeping that alive. Even up until the end. Nothing ever worked out perfectly. But they worked out. And that's the best we can kind of hope for. So again, let me know your thoughts and theor fe uh, th theories. Feelings in the comment section below. What will you miss about the Doom Patrol mode? I think maybe just the camaraderie. You know, more than anything else, I'll miss these characters. But I'm glad I got to experience this. So, from the bottom of my broken heart, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in whatever you choose to watch later. And if this is the end of the road for the two of us, you and anyone who's watching, thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>